Oh, by the way, let me tell everybody, go on and get in the chat. Uh, put in your guesses, all that kind of stuff. You guys know what to do. Um, we'll, we'll talk more about that after this game. Uh, look, 4 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN, the Sun Belt Championship game is happening in Troy, Alabama, uh, between the App State Mountaineers and the Troy Trojans. Uh, and the Trojans are shooting for their second straight conference title for Coach John Sumrall. Uh, Troy is a six-point favorite at home. That's dropped a little bit from six and a half. The uh, the total here sitting at 52 and a half at BetUS. Uh, you know, for about two hours late on Saturday night, it looked like Summerall was about to hit up and take that job over Lexington. Uh, but he's still at Troy. His Trojans have lost five straight games to App State. And until last year, they had not even covered against them since 2016. Uh, App won last year, 32-28 to 28 with game day in town last year. Uh, in the three season, or in the last three seasons, App is 5-0-1 against the spread as a road dog. They are 3-3 three and three straight up. Uh, they're 4-0 and against the spread it, just in November in their last four games. Troy, as a home favorite, 2-4 and four against the spread this season, but they are 7-1 and one ATS in their last eight games. Both teams are hot at the right time here. Kyle, uh, this is another one where, you know, my full season and my last four weeks numbers vary. Full season, I've got Troy minus 7.5. Um, you know, I got Troy minus 6 on power rating, and I've got Troy minus 4.5. Uh, over the last four weeks, uh, Summerall's team is is really good at home. Um, if you're looking for an upset, uh, typically you would look at you know at just the the edges, right? You would look for a special team stuff like that. Troy is number 59 in special teams grade at PFF. App is number 117. I mean, there is a massive difference there. Uh, what's uh, what's the handicap here, Kyle? Uh, you know, App. You know. They've turned it on lately. Like they flipped a switch. You know, we talked about Georgia doing an app. Like they were looking really bad. You know, they was it the Southern Miss game that they were losing, I think, and they flipped yeah. it in the middle of the game. And like ever since they've never turned back. Um, the defensive improvements, what's really stood out to me, four point three yards per play allowed in their last three contests. And guys, those were not really easy games. Georgia State, James Madison, Georgia Southern, pretty good offenses. Oh yeah. Uh, tr- Troy 11th in the nation in yards per play allowed. We know Troy's defense is really good. They're 10th and have it created. Trojans defense, very good every year. I think they'll have a good game plan ready. Now, to be fair, App State's quarterback has played really well, and they've thrown the ball around quite well this season. So I'm counting on Troy to at least slow them down. These two teams were 10th and 12th in the Sun Belt and Tempo, so I don't think there'll be a bunch of possessions in this game. App State's biggest weakness on defense, their run defense. They're 89th in rushing play success rate allowed. But Troy is really not set up to expose that kind of weakness. They're 109th in rushing play success rate on offense, 14th in the Sun Belt in yards per carry. Also, the, the long-term forecast here, and I will note, it is Wednesday. It's a good little little ways away, so you'll want to check on this. But it's 90% chance of rain, about 10 miles per hour wind, so nothing significant on wind. But looks pretty rainy. Uh, a little bit of a bonus maybe for the under. I'm going to bet the under here in this one, thinking that touchdowns will be a little bit hard to come by on a number of 52 and a half. Yeah, when you first look at that number, it it seems like it might be a little bit low considering the two teams. But when you start diving into these matchups, Kyle, it, it does make a whole lot of sense to go under that 52 and a half. Um, Parker, I'll, I'll move over to you here. App, you know, like we mentioned, they they've gone on a run in November. And that's thanks in large part to their passing offense. You know, Kyle mentioned that the quarterback has played really, really well. Uh, They are number 19 in PPA per pass in the last four weeks. They're number 17 in passing success rate. However, just to pump the brakes on a little bit, these are the last four teams that they have played in their PPA per pass in the last month. Marshall is number 80. Georgia State is number 124. James Madison, surprisingly, number 76. And Georgia Southern is number 113. Troy's defense in that same metric is number 19. Like, you want to dive into other things. Troy, number 16 and Havoc created. App is number 83 and Havoc allowed. Like, there's there's a lot of things to look at that would make you lean Troy here. Uh, you know what? Break this one down for us. I, I could dive into more stats, but you break this one down. 
No, I, I like it. You can just lay my case out for me and then I can say my pick. I am picking against the hat, Kyle. That makes me very nervous. We didn't talk about that before the show. You're casting some voodoo on me here. But um, where Aguilar has been really, really great is like in the deep intermediate center of the field. And I just feel like Troy's defense is good enough that he's not exactly going to be able to exploit that. The weather only works in that favor there. You've got two teams that, that actually kind of are, you know, mirror images here. Uh, App State 37th on offense, 90th on defense. Troy Troy 78th on offense, 43rd on defense. So we'll come down to kind of best on best and, and then who wins the worst on worst battle um, with Troy. A lot of yards after contact, both um, both running backs here, uh, uh, Vidal and and Noel. I was trying to figure out if I was going to say Kane or Kanye. I believe it's Kanye Vidal, but uh, we're, we're, you know, top five in the conference uh, in yards after contact here. So we'll see who can, tro- uh, who can tackle um, well. I think that benefits Troy, again, disciplined on defense and, and pretty consistent year over year. The other matchup that really goes in Troy's favor is early downs on both sides of the ball. App State, pretty substantial drop off from early to late downs. If... Um, you know, but they're they're 18th in early downs EPA on defense. Troy is 19th in early downs, so I think they'll be able to get App State in a little more negative situation, put a little more pressure on Aguilar uh, to make some of those throws that aren't necessarily those connect open play shots. On the other side of the ball, Troy's offense very balanced from early to late downs. They're 64th in early downs EPA, 54th in third and fourth down success. So. Um, they're very balanced overall, but App State's defense has actually been way, way worse early. They're 102nd early downs, 43rd late downs. So what Troy's going to be able to do is have a little bit of a longer leash, a little bit of breathing room in open situations on first and second down because App's been really bad there and avoid those obvious power situations that App State's been really good at forcing teams into. Uh, and so I think that that combination, plus a little bit of weather, um, really lends itself to Troy's discipline on defense, uh, stifling the explosiveness in the App State run game. I'm going to take Troy is the favorite here. I love it. I love it. I, I see where you're going with. Uh, let's lock these two in. Troy minus six for Parker, and Kyle is going to take the under 52 and a half. Uh, I see that we agree on the game state here. So I like that. I always like that. <laughs> 